Hello student, this is Miss Rosita again. Uh, this is a follow-up of Grouping Point Slope Form. Okay, I have three equations. Number one, number two, and number three to model you how to graph it. Okay, so let us take a look at number one. First thing is to identify the M. The slope is 3. The point, this is where the students struggle. This is the first coordinate, the X coordinate, which is 1. And this is the Y coordinate, which is 6. Okay? So if I have a point and a slope, I can graph, okay? Let us take a look at number two before we begin graphing, okay? This is my equation, y plus one equal parenthesis x negative one. Oops. I know that the point, you know why I said oops? Because I don't see a number here. Let us begin on the point, okay? So, I know that the x-coordinate, this is x minus x1, so x1 is positive 1. Now, the y-coordinate is y, I will write down the pattern here, y minus x1. Oops, but it's positive. It becomes positive, student, because x1 is negative. So, if I have y minus x1, negative x1 negative and negative turns to be positive so my y coordinate should be negative okay so let us look at this way if you see this is negative get the opposite positive one if you see that this number is positive get the opposite which is negative make sense Okay, the slope is the number in front of the parentheses. There's no number. So therefore, there is an invisible, invisible one. Invisible one. So your slope is a positive one. Okay? Now, how about the, the third situation? I have y minus 4 equals negative x plus 3. Okay? Let us begin with the slope. Oops, there's no number there. But you see a negative, we will insert one because there is an invisible one. So your slope is a negative one. Let us determine the point. Okay, x, let us begin on the x, x positive three. So I get the opposite, positive three. The coordinate, the x coordinate will be negative three. And this is y minus four. I know the y coordinate is positive 4. This is where the student got confused. So you need to be careful on those. Okay, let us begin graphing. So when we graph, we begin at the point. This is where we begin graphing. 1, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, you see it's up there, but the slope is 3. So if the slope is 3, you will make it a fraction. So that will be 3 over 1. So therefore, you go up 3 and then to the right 1. But I, can, I cannot go up. I don't have space. So I go to the opposite direction on this side. Therefore, I go down. I will do the opposite direction. Go down one, two, three, and then to the left one point. Go down one, two, three, to the left one point. One, two, three, to the left one point. Okay. So draw the line. So that is how you graph it. Now, let us create, okay, 
Let us identify the x, the y intercept. Look at the line. It cross at this point. It crosses the y axis here. So this point is called the y intercept. And the coordinate will be, I need a number on the y. The other coordinate will be 0. So this 1, 2, 3. 3, 0. See? There is another key picture here. The x-intercept. Where the line cross the x-axis. So this is your x-intercept. I will draw, I will determine the coordinate of the point. x-intercept, I have a line on the x. I mean, I have a point on the x. And the other coordinate is 0. So therefore, that is a negative 1. And what is another name for the x-intercept again? It is 0. And what type of equation of line is this? This is type of slope is positive because it's going up. And the slope is 3, positive 3. So we identify the key features. Okay. Next, number two. On number two, we already identify the slope and the point. We begin, always, always begin graphing at a point. Okay? So I need to identify the point, one negative one. So this is one negative 1. My slope is 1. Make it a fraction. If you have a whole number, student, the denominator, if you want to make it a fraction, the denominator is always 1. So therefore, I go up 1 and then to the right 1. So from here, I go up 1 to the right 1 point. Go up 1 to the right 1 point. Go up one to the right one point. Go down one to the left point. Go down one to the left one point. Now I will start graphing. Once I have the graph, I will look at what are the key features. We begin with the y-intercept. The y-intercept is this where it crossed the y-axis. So the y-intercept, you have the number on the y, 0 on the x, so 0, negative 2. So the y-intercept is 0, negative 2. The x-intercept is where the line crossed the x-axis. So we have x-intercept to write the coordinate of the point of the x-intercept, there should be a number on the x and the other coordinate y is 0. So this is 2, 0. Do you see that? Pay attention to your y-intercept, x-intercept. And the slope is, we said 1, and it is positive. Why positive? Because the line is going up. The last one. Okay. So I will be uh, very fast on the, the last one. We begin always at the point. To graph, you always begin at the point. So negative 3, 1, 2, 3. Oh, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I will always label it and check if I get a mistake. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have the beginning point here. The slope is negative 1. I will make the slope a fraction. I will write the direction. Oops, negative. So that will be down 1. The direction is going down. And then to the right, 
one to the right. So from here, I go down one to the right one. Go down one to the right one, down one to the right one, to the right, there you go. Connect the graph, the line, the points. I will identify my y-intercept. The y-intercept is where the line cross the y-axis. So this is the y-intercept. And the coordinate, there will be a number on the y, but x is 0. So it's 0, 1. This is the x-intercept. x-intercept, I have number on the x, and the other one, the y is 0. So that will be positive 1. And what's the other name for x-intercept again? It is... 0. So y-intercept, number on the y, x is 0. x-intercept, number on the x, y is 0. What slope is this? What is the slope m? The slope m is negative 1. And since it is negative, the type of slope will be negative. Let's check if the line is negative. There you go. It's negative because it is falling down.